the moment I think of leadership, uh, I think of a pyramid. Like for me, like on top is the shared vision. Uh, then comes like uh, communication and connection. And uh, then like, yeah, with whom to communicate, with whom to connect, then we have uh, three worlds as such. So first world is of course the people, our employees, um, the human resources of the organization. And then we have all the resources. Uh, it can be processes, it can be information technology, uh, any of the processes that are really there in an organization and resources that are there as such. And uh, the third part would be the uh, stakeholders, uh, the other stakeholders that can be uh, bankers and shareholders and vendors. Uh, so in my view, I think leadership has to connect all these uh, worlds as such. And uh, the leadership has to connect with a passion, with intelligence, with delegation, with decision making. Um, and now I think like, you know, more importantly, resilience. So I, I think this is how I look at leadership. And uh, to me, I think someone, a leader is someone who can, who's sensitive to every, every single thing. So that everything has to fall together uh, to really look at a shared vision as such. Um, I think uh, someone who can really um, understand the diversity of thought processes and uh, get the best out of every single person, but at the same time uh, make their own decisions, know what is right for the organization and make the right decisions. Um, a leader is someone who understands one's own strength and weaknesses and uh, complement their weaknesses uh, very importantly as such. I, in the same way, understand the organization's strength and weaknesses and do the right thing in, in a sense to really um, manage the weaknesses well and play to the strengths. Um, so someone who leads from the front but at the same time is able to take everybody together as such uh, to me is an effective and a great leader. Uh, wishing Tate all the best in all its endeavors.